Hello, it's Bill, the knee pain guru. Welcome to what is today? Thursday, April 16th. Today we're going to talk about knee pain after running. If you got questions about your knees, knee pain, diagnosis, your situation right now, please put those in the live chat. We'll address that right after this short presentation. Remember to give the video a thumbs up. Like and subscribe to the channel as well as turn on notifications for future videos as we do these twice a week. And the topics that you put in the live chat as well as on the replay um, in the document or um, in the comment section below, I use those as topics for future videos. So it's kind of how it works. And I have things to talk about as far as knees go. You have understanding, direction, insight about what's going on with your needs. How about that? Works good. So, topic today is knee pain after running. And I, <laughs> it's, it's no secret that I look at the body differently, look at knee pain differently. So, it, when I hear about knee pain after running, it begs the question for me, I think about, well, why don't you have knee pain while you're running? We begin to zoom out and look at a bigger picture, a broader picture of what's going on in your body that leads to knee pain after running. If it's not hurting while you're running, there's a different tension pattern that is going on while you're running that is not able to be disengaged so you have the pain after running. Is this making sense? If it does, give it a thumbs up. If it doesn't make sense, please ask your question and I'll see if I can answer it differently. Uh, here's an example of what I'm talking about. We've all had those vehicles that shake only at a certain speed limit, like 48 miles per hour. 45, 46, 47 miles per hour, the car's fine. Hits 48 miles per hour, it's shaking. Gets to 49 miles per hour, the shaking goes away. So there is a certain tension pattern that is only engaged when the car is driving 48 miles per hour. This is very much the same way in understanding why there's only knee pain after running. There's a tension pattern that is only engaged when the body has begun to relax and it stopped, it stopped the running piece. It could lead us to tension patterns that are going on in the shins, in the feet, in the calves, in the ankles, in the hamstrings, in the quads, the hips, the lower back. We have to look at bigger tension patterns that are going on in the body that leads us to understand why the pain is going in the knees. Uh, so I wanted to give everybody some three things that you could begin doing uh, that would help in terms of alleviating or relieving the pain after you're running. Uh, first thing, first thing, drink water. A lot of times the the body is dehydrated and when the body's dehydrated it gets more tense because it doesn't have enough water <laughs> we're big bags of water we're supposed to be 80 percent water the body isn't able to shift and adjust to the tension that is it's put on think of beef jerky <laughs> it's probably a bad analogy but it's okay the 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 more we get dehydrated, the tighter our body gets. Drinking a glass of water can relieve a lot of issues that we're running into. So the first thing would be uh, drinking water. Uh, the sex, sex, sex. The second thing is magnesium. Uh, beginning to incorporate magnesium. Magnesium either internally, but there's a magnesium supplement I almost take every day, um, or you can put it on topically, on the knee, on the legs, on the hips, on the lower back. So there's uh, the water, there's the magnesium, and then stretching. A lot of times the difficulty 
in stretching or relieving the pain in the knees due to stretching is because the body's dehydrated. So you can see it's kind of a like a little bit of a loop. So the more we can incorporate water, the more we incorporate uh, the magnesium into the equation and the more we stretch, then we'll see what happens on the other side of running. So there's uh, just the initial uh, topic. There's a lot to be determined. There's a lot of information if you have knee pain after running, there's a lot of questions. If I was working with a client, you and I were working together and you were saying, Bill, I have knee pain after running. What do I do? And I would start asking you questions like, well, where in the knee does it hurt? Is it in the front of the knee, the back of the knee, the inside of the knee, the outside of the knee, where the knee bends, slightly above or slightly below. These are all different locations that the tension can be manifesting or showing up in your knee that we would need to address need to address then we would start to get into proactive approaches well when you start drinking the water does the pain in the knee go away does the pain in the knee move does the pain in the knee change do you still have pain in your knee when you run do you still have pain in your knee in the knee after <laughs> running? Uh, when you begin to incorporate magnesium, does the pain move? Does the pain change? Does it stay away? Does it come back? If it comes back, how long did it stay away? And what were you doing when it came back? So you can begin to see how... Uh, we can dissect the situation that you're dealing with and begin to look deeper and pull back the layers of the onion to understand how we can create the conditions in your knee and in your body so, th so the knee pain never comes back. Or if it does come back, you have all the tools you need to do to relieve it like that because in the process we're re-educating your nervous system how to let go of the tension that it is dealing with because it's ultimately stress and tension and nerve irritation that is the source of all pain in the physical body. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Like the information, give it a thumbs up. Like and subscribe to the channel, the Knee Pain Guru uh, YouTube channel, as well as turn on notifications for future videos. Also, share the video with your friends your family, your loved ones, those that are limping, those probably can help them the most. Um, I'm not seeing any questions coming in today, and that's okay. Not a big deal. If you want some action steps on what to do from here on out, you can um, head to the kneepainguru.com website, and you can get on the newsletter list. If you're already on the newsletter list, then I would point you towards joining Knee Club. Knee Club is a group coaching program to point you in terms of getting the relief in your knee. So one, you get relief in your knee. Two, you have begin to gather tools on how to get yourself out of pain. And three, so that the pain doesn't come back because we're teaching your body how to recover faster. Would walking be a better alternative? Well, it depends. What, what would, based on what I was sharing before, we would have to see how your, um, your knee responds to the conditions that we're setting up. Um, like, like running isn't a bad thing. <laughs> Running's not a bad thing. Walking's not a bad thing. It's not what you're doing is bad or good. It is how your body recovers or is able to adjust to what you are doing. <clears throat> is that making sense? They're just the basics. <clears throat> Anyone else have questions? Maybe yes, maybe no. Maybe rain, maybe snow. That's what my aunt used to say. 
uh, yeah, the, the, what I like doing when, when I work with clients is find out what they would like to do. If you want to run, you can run. There's no reason why you couldn't. It's what are we doing that's leading up to the running that is creating the conditions so you can't run. Uh, sometimes it's how we're running. Sometimes it's, you know, your diet, you have water, you have supplementation, you have stretching and breathing, you have exercise, you have mobility, you have what I refer to as pain pattern interrupts. Those all go into the equation to show up in whether you're able to run or not, or walk or not, or squat without discomfort or not. So we need to look at all of those variables and you want to get to that place where if you want to run or you want to bike or whatever that is, we can get you there. It's creating the conditions that allow that outcome to be the possibility. Anything else there? Just the basics? Okay. Well, I'm going to scoot. I have a few things I got to do, some clients that I need to help. And if you want to get in on the next Neat Club call, we're having our call this afternoon at, <clears throat> I'm sorry, this evening, 5 p.m. Eastern time. We have a shelter in place special going on right now where we're waiving the uh, membership, uh, the enrollment fee, as well as we've significantly reduced the monthly membership that would be grandfathered in once this shelter in place is lifted and uh, we would be going forward. So if you want to take advantage of that, head over to the Knee Pain Guru website and uh, all the information is there. Okey-doke. Bill Paravano, the Knee Pain Guru, going to sign off for today. Have a wonderful day and I will see you on the next video.